Okay, Bert, are you ready to start? And be sure and start recording also. Good morning and welcome to the Randall Mill Hazardous Road Overtopping Mitigation Project. This is a community meeting for the design plans. Uh, my name is Bert Gidry. I'm the project manager. Also with us today is Mark Galvan with Half Associates. He's a design engineer. Uh, I'd like to also welcome Mayor Pro Tem Bivens, who's with us today, and Josh Rivers, district, district director. If you look on your screen, uh, there's a QR code. That, that code will take you to this, this website for any project updates if at any time you wanted to get an update on the project status. During the meeting, if you could please mute yourself to avoid any echo or disturbance during the meeting. You can ask questions using the chat box as shown in the picture below, down the lower right here. Or at the end of the meeting, we'll have a Q&A session. You can ask questions then. We are recording this meeting and we will, we will make the recording available at the city's website after the meeting. Um, so to mute yourself, you can click the mute box in the lower lower corner there. Our meeting agenda, first we'll talk about the purpose of the project, the location of the project, then we'll show some existing conditions, then we'll go through the scope, and then we'll go through the schedule and other details, and then we'll have the Q&A session at the end. So I just wanted to emphasize that, that our project uh, includes a progression. We're in the design phase right now. We're not in the construction phase. The design phase will include a progression from the 30% design to the 60% design and then to the 90% design prior to the bidding and project construction. And we are, like I said, at the currently at the 60% design stage. So the purpose of the project, currently stormwater overtops the roadway during intense rainfall events, and this creates a life safety concern. So the purpose of the project is to construct some improvements to mitigate the stormwater overtopping the roadway. Here's a general location of the project. Uh, you can see 820 right here, and we are to the east of that. Here's, here's 30. Trinity Boulevard and Randall Mill in between. Project is roughly centered about right here. Here's a more detailed view of the project location. Uh, it's, it is roughly about a half mile east of Loop 820 uh, where it begins and it ends roughly at at Golden Eye to the east. Uh, you can see here's the here's the floodplain outlined in blue, and you can see it, it encompasses part of the roadway here and here. There's two culvert crossings, uh, crossing Randall Mill currently. Uh, one is located roughly here, and the other is located to the to the east over here. So here's some images taken after an intense uh, rainfall event last year. You can see over here a, a vehicle that was abandoned due to flooding. And on the left over here, you can see this was this was taken during the rainfall event. You can see the extensive flooding and you can see a rescue boat going down what is actually Randall Mill Road. So you can, uh, this, these images illustrate the life safety concerns driving the project. So these are the two culvert crossings that, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this top image is the culvert on the east side crossing Randall Mill Road, and this bottom image is the culvert crossing Randall Mill on the west side of the project.
So the scope of the project uh, to mitigate the stormwater overtopping the roadway. One thing we're going to do is we're going to realign the roadway to relocate it away from the creek. And we'll also raise the roadway to get it out of the floodplain. We'll also construct channel improvements. These are going to include a new culvert under Williams Road. And we will be eliminating the two culverts crossing Randall Mill that we looked at earlier, one on the east side and one on the west side. And we're also going to add some underground storm drain lines for the roadway drainage. So in addition to that, we will, do, we will be doing other improvements. Uh, we'll be adding some sidewalks. Uh, we will take the opportunity that while we're doing the construction to replace some water and sewer lines. There will be some franchise utility adjustments. Also, we're going to be doing some trail improvements at Mallard Cove Park. And another thing that we're going to be doing is the roadway section that, that we're going to be constructing will include a, a left center turn, a left, I'm sorry, a center turn lane in the roadway section. I've got a question for you concerning sidewalks. I just want to make sure that we're not planning on putting sidewalks west of 820 because the people over just west of the White House have made it very clear they do not want the sidewalks that were planned for them a couple of years ago. I see that that won't be in this project scope. Okay, just making sure. Thank you. All right, thank you. So here's a an aerial image showing the uh, project location with the existing stream here in blue. This kind of makes it easier to see the more precise location of where the, the culvert crossings are, one here, one here. And you can see the existing roadway here in red. So this slide shows the, the proposed roadway. You can see that it's realigned further to the north in green. The existing roadway down here. This will be demolished, this section here and this section here with new uh, roadway here in green. Sidewalk that we'll be adding will be on the north side of Randall Mill along this section. We'll be adding a trail in Mallard Cove Park as shown here. Uh, more sidewalk will continue over here uh, toward on both sides of Williams Road and then on the south side of Randall Mill Road going out towards Mockingbird States. This slide is kind of a zoomed in um, slide to show the, the new culvert crossing on Williams Road. You can see it's going to be quite large. It's a five barrel culvert. Um, you can uh, see the existing stream coming in here and uh, some of the storm drain connecting to the to the culvert. There's going to be a, a uh, retaining wall along the edge of the of the stream for grading purposes. And you can also see driveway culverts that are being added for these driveways. So this slide shows the, the added underground stormwater uh, storm drain system for the roadway. This is in purple. See a culvert here. We have a, uh, some inlets along Randall Mill Road uh, connecting to the storm drain. That, and that storm drain ultimately connects to the culvert, which goes to the creek. Also, like I mentioned earlier, we will be uh, taking this opportunity to replace some older uh, water and sewer lines. We, the existing water line currently goes along the, the roadway alignment. We're going to keep the water line at, at that location and put a new water line there. And we will also be extending some sanitary sewer in this area, extending it roughly to this driveway here and connecting it to a manhole here. 
And here is the proposed culvert that we looked at earlier. So this slide shows the uh, proposed typical roadway section. The, the top image shows what we're proposing with this project. You can see that we're going to have an eastbound lane and a westbound lane and a, a center turn lane. So this, this will be uh, an improvement to the existing roadway where there is not the dual left turn lane. So that will help things out. Um, so this is what we're proposing with this project. Ultimately in the future, not part of this project, I want to emphasize the uh, future roadway section will look like this with two eastbound lanes and two westbound lanes and a center median as well. But that's not part of this project here at this time. Some project details. This is our uh, anticipated schedule. So we will have another community meeting at the 90% design uh, level that, that should occur this winter, either late this year or early next year. We expect the design to, com to be complete in the spring of 2024. Utility relocations next summer, and then bidding after that, and the award of the construction contract in the fall of 2024, starting construction in the winter of 2024, 2025, and construction complete in the summer of 2026. The funding of this project was from both stormwater revenue bond and PAYGO funds, and the current estimated construction cost, 6.8 million. So now, um, any questions we have, um, Feel free to ask at this time. Bird, looking in the chat, I'm not seeing any questions in the chat at this time. I guess I can give it a minute. So if you do have any questions in the future, um, you can call me. My name is Bert Gidry again. I'm the project manager. My phone number is shown on the screen, as well as my email. And once again, there's a, a QR code at the bottom left of the screen that you can use to go to this website for any project updates. Also want to uh, point out that there is an app for reporting things to the city, uh, my Fort Worth app that makes, uh, makes reporting easy. So you can download that and give it a try. With that, I will adjourn the meeting. Thank you for coming. Hang on, hang on a sec, Bert. We do have a question. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, hey, I see. I saw it just pop up in the uh, in the chat. Is there a new road for the new subdivision? Uh, are, are you speaking of the the new subdivision that's like under construction right now? Okay. Yes, he, he's speaking about the Mockingbird Estates over on the west side. Yes, uh, we will be replacing part of that, as shown here, just the northern section to to uh, put in some some uh, sidewalks and inlets and connect the storm drain to what's there currently. So just the uh, the very end of it will be replaced. I have a question. Yes. Um, I live on Williams Road, and I'm looking at the, the map that you have here right now, and it's really unclear to me how far down Williams Road uh, the construction will be going so that I can prepare. So it's it's just the end of it right here. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing. Right. The, the, the green is the proposed 
So, so we're going to extend Williams Road up to Randall Mill with this new pavement right here. And we'll be connecting to the existing road right approximately here. Right, and where is it, that? It's, it's more or less the intersect, the current intersection of Randall Mill and Williams, where it is today. It's not going to extend very far. Yeah, the existing Williams. Randall Mill Road is right here. Oh, okay. All right. Because, yeah, I live a little further down before you get to uh, Sandy Lane, so that was unclear to me. Uh, but I do live on Williams Road, and there's going to be a sidewalk that's going to extend from uh, a little bit onto Williams Road to, for example, the Mallard Park. Is that true? It's going to begin roughly at the intersection of Williams and existing Randall Mill Road, and it will extend to Mallard Cove Park. Okay. It won't go south. It won't go south. And, uh, of course, this may not be in your lane, but um, no pun intended, but uh, will there be any kind of traffic controls at that intersection? I mean, I appreciate the center turn lane that you're talking about, but will, you know, especially with the Mockingbird Estates uh, entry into the neighborhood. You're talking about, like, traffic lights, traffic Correct. signals? Correct. Correct. That's, that's not being proposed with this project. Okay. All right. Um, that, that's all my questions at this time. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Bert, we have another question in the chat uh, asking about uh, they have a septic system. Can they apply for a new sewer system? Um, so currently, we're proposing a sanitary sewer, uh, extending it along this part of the proposed Randall Mill. I'm not sure where your property is, but that might be a question that uh, maybe you can call me and we can discuss and we can uh, get you to the right people. Yes, I yeah, live I on Winter depend. Street. You live on Winter Street? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna depend on if there's sanitary sewer available in the area or not. Uh, as if you can get off of the septic system. Uh, our, our water department is the group that handles the sanitary sewer system, and, and they would probably be the best contact. Uh, do, do you have a phone number or, or an email address that, that uh, you could email to that you'd send to Bert uh, and yes. offline so that we can so we can get with our water department staff and find out um, what what might be available for you? Okay. So I'll go back to the uh, end slide. Oops. If you need my email, right here. Give me the phone number. Yeah, you can you can call me or email me. Either way. Oh, you mean the eight one seven eight three five six nine three nine? Uh eight one seven two five three one nine six eight. Under my name. On the... I, I, I don't I think see she was it. giving you her phone number. Oh, no, no. Okay, I saw it. Eight one seven two five three one nine six eight. Okay. Correct, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw the the email. Okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me write it down. Well, she's writing that down. I just want to say thank you for creating this venue to, so that people can communicate with you about the project. Yes, we appreciate it. Well, thank I you. I got for it. Coming. You got it. Yeah, I got it. And, and we, we, as you know, city staff, we're all pretty excited about this project. It's, I think it's going to benefit the area quite a bit. It's going to address multiple concerns kind of in that immediate vicinity. And I think this is going to be a really exciting project and it's going to yield some good results for the area. No more questions. 
All right. Well, uh, I guess with that will end the meeting, and everybody have a have a great day. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Thank you.